Joining us now with his expectations and how it could affect your portfolio is Morgan Stanley Wealth Management's Jim LeCamp. Jim, thank you very much for being here right now. This is pretty stark, and, and maybe this is also a license for the Fed to go ahead and maybe make that raise because everybody is expecting it. What exactly do you think they should be doing right now? Well, Don, the, the Fed is well aware of the past mistakes of the Fed, one of which was Arthur Burns, who quit raising hikes, who quit hiking rates too early, and all of a sudden we had a major rebound in inflation in the mid-'70s. Same thing happened with Paul Volcker. So the Fed's very aware that you can't kind of half-dead this. You have to completely kill off uh, the inflation uh, increases before you stop raising rates here. So they painted themselves into this terrible box because right now we have an already inverted yield curve. We have leading economic indicators all pointing south. You have problems with local and regional banks, as you were just talking about. So it's a, not a great environment to raise rates into, but inflation is still too sticky. Now, the Fed created this box, too much money printing, too loose of monetary conditions, but they're in a really difficult spot here. I think they're going to raise a quarter of a point and then do a conditional pause, depending on what the inflation readings uh, do throughout the summer. And they, they still have to see what the impact of all these rate hikes that they've done so far the impact it's going to have on the economy, not all of that has worked its way into the economy yet. So I think they're in a very tough spot, and I don't think anybody's taking off their hard hats here, Dom, in terms of other shoes that might be dropping with these local and regional banks. So that makes it even more acute. You know, Jim, I look back over the last 12 months, and, and there have been folks who have been pointing to leading economic data and pointing towards the slowdown of the economy over the past 12 months. We've seen maybe a little bit of a slowdown, but the jobs market remains resilient. The economy is certainly not in a huge recession by any means. How long does this take to play out? And is the economy good enough right now where maybe the Fed feels like it can do this without cratering things? It's a great question, Dom. And you can throw in that the stock market really hasn't broken down either. And there's a lot of people that have been calling for that for a long, long time. So the, the market and the economy, they've both been more resilient than, than anybody expected. But if you just look at the raw data and say, what, has these, what have these data sets meant to us in the past, whether it's the inverted yield curve, whether it's leading indicators now down 12 months in a row, whether it's purchasing manage, uh, managers indices, whether it's the shape of the Philly Fed curve, all of these have been consistent with recessions in the past. The problem for the stock market is that uh, if you look back at previous stock markets, you'd go to 1960, 69, 73, 80, 2007, 2000. All of these stock markets haven't recovered until you were already in a recession. So in terms of the stock market, I, I think we have to be a little careful here. Yes, the technicals look okay. Maybe we have to keep our mind open that we could be wrong, and maybe the stock market's going to move for other reasons that we're not seeing. For example... The Fed added a bunch of liquidity in the first quarter. Uh, they, they were tightening, but they were adding liquidity. Did that have an impact on the market? It probably did. Maybe the market's moving for other reasons, but the data, the data sets, Dom, all show that we're heading into a recession. And now you add in even more uh, tightening of lending standards and a, a slowdown. The senior loan officer surveys say major slowdown ahead. Uh, I, I, it, it's hard to argue that we aren't going to enter into at least a mild recession. Probably not a red wedding, but a little blood uh, will be coming. All right. Jim LeCamp at Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon, sir. Thank you, Dom.